Well, good morning. You're watching Morning at NTV. We've been hinting over the past few months that every single morning when we're coming to work, imagine at 5.30 a.m., you meet two or three people, maybe people in a group, running because maybe they have to get to work at 8. So they assume 5.30 is the best time. And we say that it's not healthy uh, for you to be running at that time. But actually, we are the ones who are wrong because maybe we're used to sitting in the same workspace, not working out. Maybe we don't make time. I know how many times I've told myself I can't work out because I don't have time. But you make time for what's important. And you know, in health, if you don't make time today, eventually you'd have to make time for the hospital. So this morning, I thought I'd invite a uh, few people to talk to us about corporate fitness and health because maybe they're in, you know, work environments where they've actually, we can use them as benchmarks to learn on how to be healthy in our workspaces. And later on, we'll be joined by a fitness trainer to explain to us where do you start from? Do you just go into the gym and straight up with lifting? Do you have to run? Does it depend on your nutrition, health, and all sorts of that? So I do have the PRO of Centenary Bank, Alena Yebari. Good morning. Morning. And from Close Touch Group, yeah, events, eh? PR. I know you for PR mostly. Moses Opolot, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so I wonder what, uh, before, just before we talk about the companies themselves, you personally, what your journey is with fitness are. Ah, we'll start with you, Ellen. Yeah, fitness is part of me. Really? <laughs> and of course, it's amplified mm -hmm. with uh, being part of a women's group. Oh, okay. I go to Sheraton where we do fitness every morning. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, morning. we have aerobics classes. <laughs> and on the other days, mm. you either swim or you do the treadmill or any other thing of your choice. We also have fitness at uh, Centenary Bank. I know you've said you don't talk about the no, corporate no, we organizations. Can, yes, that's where, that's where <laughs> you are. And I've yeah. said, you know, we can benchmark from some of the things I've heard you say sure. that you do. Yes, Moses and, um, first. When, when oh. your, your fitness journey, or you don't work out, you are blessed with the genes to just <laughs> be like that. <laughs> I, I actually have a personal workout schedule oh, wow. every okay. evening. Hmm. Uh, I, uh, in, initially, I started with five days a week, Monday mm -hmm. to Friday, every single evening. I would do about eight kilometers to ten. Wow. Okay. Uh, then uh, I later on turn down to twice or thrice a week, depending on my work schedule. Oh, so you turned down because of work? You yes. Turn down because <laughs> I, I, I did turn down because of work because yeah. uh, I realized that mm. there are some crazy days when you actually yes. can't. So mm. I chose to turn it down to about two to three days. Mm. Yes. So I've had you say Monday to this, we're here, then you swim. Then mm. I've had, I'm, I'm sure you don't have an easy schedule as well. No. But most of us corporates complain about how... You know, I, I don't have the time. Mm -hmm. I want to work out, but where am I going to find the time? I'm either having to go home, or I'm at work, or I'm at this. How do you make time, though? Uh, the time is really an issue. Mm. That's true. And sometimes there are these late meetings. Yeah. So something the bank has done for us is mm. we have fitness um, aerobics classes every Tuesday at and the Thursday bank? at the bank. Oh, okay. At 5.30 p.m. Compulsory. So, no. <laughs> Not compulsory, <laughs> but this is somewhere you can go. Mm. Then we even have some, you know, literature mm. that we share on WhatsApp mm. within friends, oh, between okay. friends. So if you can't make, can't make it, you mm. can still do it at home, mm. mornings or evenings. Mm. But I prefer the morning because it sets you up for the day. Okay. A lot more um, corporate companies have started to have a discussion around fitness and health, especially mm. for their staff. And I'm curious, maybe for the case of Centenary Bank, mm. why was there a need to do this? Were people getting extremely unproductive <laughs> at certain hours? Were people getting health scares? And, and maybe the company thought, we really need to check this. Where, where was that decision from? Yeah, that was part of the reasons. Mm. You know, it comes with some counterproductivity mm -hmm. if people are not healthy enough. Yeah. And so we have a staff package that, yes, okay. has a bit of fitness, has we, we do food, we do lunch, mm -hmm. we do health care. But because this is your own initiative, this is your you body. It has to come from you. This is your body. <laughs> yes. So we do put it up there for mm. staff. Mm. And, and many have embraced it. Mm -hmm. um, and even in some branches, not necessarily Mapera, mm. head office, yeah. even some branches do this. Mm. Others go out with the communities over the weekend mm. and do football, volleyball. Mm. Yeah. But still, the staff are engaged and involved. Mm -hmm. yeah. So y men mostly do this. I see weekends, a group of corporates, maybe different companies, actually. It's not mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. one company. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. come together and play mm -hmm. a football game. Mm -hmm. 
and that's just a Saturday. Yes, so I'm, yes. I'm, you know, it's just one day. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm curious on where, what, what the advantages you think are as, you know, guys mm -hmm. getting together, you know, just companies coming together and just saying, let's just be healthy. Even if it's for one day, mm -hmm. what have you seen happens in that bonding session? No, well, um, one thing we must appreciate is that uh, life is about uh, striking a balance. Yes. You, 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 you can't stick to work, work, work all the mm. time. So sometimes you need mm. to break mm. that monotony. Yes. And one of the ways uh, to do that is uh, through initiatives like, uh, I mean, the runs, mm. for instance. Yes. And, and, and that's something we've uh, taken on as well as an association. Because mm. we realize that as communicators, mm. yes, uh, everyone is usually confined to, uh, you know, uh, uh, protecting the image of their particular organization. He's talking about the prowl <laughs> run, eh? just yes. in case <laughs> someone is wondering. Yes. yes. So, so, so we decided to, you know, come up with a prowl run, mm. uh, which we do, uh, we do quite often. Mm. Uh, it brings us all together, about two hundred uh, practitioners, mm. of actually two hundred practitioners mm. that subscribe to prowl. So we come together on this one day and say, you know. Let's, uh, you know, carry out some fitness activities as well as a community yeah. uh, of communicators. So it, it, uh, it, it's one thing that we found very easy to break that monotony. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we also need to appreciate that uh, fitness is very important. It's a very important part of our life. Yes. I mean, if you're not healthy. <laughs> I she mean, was just saying your productivity levels exactly, keep going down. E exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yes. the people who, for example, you've said over 200 practitioners come to yes. you. And let me tell you, when, say the three of us decided to do the prowl run today, yeah, yes. one will walk, the other one will run a bit and stop. We are different fitness levels, if I could say yes. that. Uh, because the, you have to tell me, is there a value to you in you know, help each other out on saying this is your fitness level, perhaps mm -hmm. beyond this one day of power run, yes. you can do A, B, C, D. Is there that sort of program? Yes, uh, at, at individual level, we encourage it, okay. uh, especially in, in the different categories. Okay. For okay. instance, we have the guys who actually do the runs. Uh, mm -hmm. There are a couple of them that actually have sessions away from uh, the, uh, the, the actual runs okay. that we carry out as mm -hmm. an association. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we also have a few that actually do the evening walks. Mm. Uh, you, uh, they, they often... Walks, not run. You know, eh? <laughs> walks. <laughs> <laughs> of course, like okay. you mentioned, the fitness <laughs> yes, levels are, are different. different. Yeah, yes. so those as well. They mm -hmm. are. So there's a bit of a balance both mm -hmm. in and out of mm -hmm. the uh, various groupings. Okay. Yeah. So you, I was talking to you of uh, Alan, and you said that you have one section, boiled food, yeah. The other section, <laughs> fried food at Centenary <laughs> Bank. And of course, you have to see which lines <laughs> people take. I'm assuming people go for the fried food. It, they'll yeah. say it's more delicious. It's nicer. Of Tasty. course, it may not be so good for our bodies. But since it's not compulsory, it's choice. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about people's choices. Mm. That even when we're given a chance to make good decisions, we don't make them. You're right. You're <laughs> right. I mean, indeed. The line for the fried foods goes <laughs> out of the door. <laughs> and the one for boiled food is, mm. is, is really short. And you can't even see the ages. I was about to say, what about that age thing? Yeah, you see mm. the older people in the bank usually line up at the boiled food center. Mm. And the younger ones go mm. for the fried food. In fact, the younger ones ask for another diet. You find some people asking for chips and, and fried goat. And it's not even on the menu. Mm. But um, we also have support from the bank because they mm -hmm. pay a percentage of our lunch. Mm -hmm. But at least I, I do boil sometimes. You do sometimes. <laughs> I like your honesty. <laughs> Before we go into some of the initiatives uh, and uh, maybe they use a function of CSR in um, you know, such initiatives, mm -hmm. let's just talk about maybe yes you've said nutrition mm. and you've said you know some ages pick this and some mm -hmm. ages pick that but do you also see the value in starting young because you and i were just talking off here that you know, i work out mm -hmm. and i have odd working hours nonetheless mm. 4 a.m maybe till the mm. late night meaning mm. my sleep patterns are also yeah. Yeah. not the best but I find that even when I work out, mm -hmm. I don't have the same energy, of course, that mm -hmm. I had at 22, at 21. Sure. You understand? So is it more valuable to start younger, I despite so. the fact that they're on the chips and chicken line? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I think so. I, I think this literature has to really come down. Mm. We need to know. The awareness has to come down yes. to schools. Really? Yeah. Or we should do about PE or something like that. But it was mm. just fun. You know, no one told <laughs> us that this should be a lifestyle. Mm. 
And, and but actually, it ought like to, to be agree. a lifestyle. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. I would actually like to agree mm-hmm. with Alan. Yeah. But uh, I mean, the activities we initially carried out in schools were for fun. I mean, for instance, I used to play football, but mm-hmm. for fun. <laughs> I wasn't but interested. you run around. So yes, e- exactly. But you see, we weren't doing it because we were actually uh, told you, that yeah. uh, you need to do it mm. for fitness, for your health and all that. Mm. We're just doing it because, I mean, it's a sport, interesting Let sport. Around, Let yeah. me run around, kick the ball here and there Sometimes and, you know, bond with friends. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're only running because so there's a, a gift, gift at the end of the day. Exactly. Speaking of running and gifting, I mean, there's things like the Cancer Run, which Centenary has been very... Um, you know, uh, strong in being part of, and not, not that's just it's not just that. Mm-hmm. Before you probably share with us all the initiatives you've been part of, is there a value in giving that CSR budget to promoting this? Is there because it's a communicable disease that you're also discussing mm-hmm. and saying this is how we can do this and this, mm-hmm. and of course the amount of wa- awareness you put in that one day mm-hmm. is is good to sustain the whole year. But have you seen the value of putting CSR funding in that? Yes, definitely, mm. definitely. I mean, it's part of being a responsible citizen that, yes. because this is our customer, this is our community. Mm. A healthy community gives you a healthy customer. Mm. So if there is something attacking your community, it's attacking you. It's attacking your business. Mm. So if you cared for your community, you're mm. caring for your business at the end of the day, and cancer was a silent killer. Mm-hmm. If you look at all these sicknesses, at least these, you know, the awareness for HIV is somewhere mm. vis-a-vis Over the years cancer, we've built over that, the year yeah. It's been yeah. built. So when we're approached by Rotary, mm. it was a chance for us, an opportunity. Mm. And we've been with them for seven years now. Okay. Yeah. Outside and of and just the cancer run, you do other initiatives? Yes, we do. We mm. sponsor the Masaza Cup. Mm. It's still something to do with health, health. right? <laughs> sports. <laughs> Then the National Rally Championships. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also sponsor the SEAL Swimming for children um, at Kampala Parent mm-hmm. School. Mm-hmm. And uh, as a corporate entity, we are part of the Corporate League and mm-hmm. the Bankers Gala and these community initiatives are telling you about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you were telling me that um, it's not just for Kampala, yes. that you know the different communities around the country mm-hmm. will do their own things. And you said football, even of course. Even for the run. Even for even the, the run. The yes. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> Someone said that, you know, when you find corporate, you said corporate league, and I remember someone said, you know, co- find corporates running. Eh? Mm. You've seen that one year, two years, their size doesn't. <laughs> 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 their size doesn't change. But you yeah. know, when you talk about corporate and fitness, they never really understand it. Yeah. So I'm not sure if we go to the gym and don't do anything valuable, or we get to the gym and look good. I've seen some of my friends, they <laughs> buy the best workout gear. We get to the gym, midday. others are doing something. Uh, on uh, the line, actually on the ground, we do have uh, Damolira, who's actually a fitness trainer. Good morning, can you hear me? Yes, Flavia, I'm hearing you. Yes, uh, good morning. We're just here with uh, Alan Avery from Centenary Bank and Moses Sokolo from Prow. And we're talking about corporate mm-hmm. fitness and health. And uh, we were talking about how us corporate people, sometimes the food we eat also is not the healthiest. We make the wrong choices. But we are, must commend the corporate class. They've started to run, to walk, to work out, to do something. So when you're dealing with those people, the working class, when they first come to you, what, what are the habits you're noticing? What are the trends? <laughs> are we open to working out? <laughs> Too <Tuli> lazy, chichi. <laughs> uh, what happens? When most of these people come to work out, every person has their own goals. Uh, there are those who want to be fit, there are those who want to increase on their body weight, there are those who want to reduce on their body weight. But if you come without a goal, just know you'll not be able to achieve what you want to achieve. But the challenge is, most of these people want to get immediate results. Someone comes and tells you, hey, Robert, what's up? I want to start working out, but I want to lose 20 kgs within one month. Then you're like, yeah, yeah. how can that be possible? So they need to know that when you come to work out, you'll get what you want, but step by step. So they need to be patient with that. Are you getting me? Yes, Robert, I am. Actually, it's very key because we always want to lose. I also have a goal of losing 10 kgs in three weeks, but I know that <laughs> never happens. But <laughs> talk to us about the meal because they say, you know, people get into the gym, they come to you and say, Robert, I need to lose weight. You tell them, let's work out, but you mm. forget to advise them on the food. Talk to us about the nutrition as well. 
No, uh, when it comes to the diet, what makes people gain that weight, that extra fat, are those fried things. But when you talk to the nutritionist or any fitness instructor, they'll tell you, eat this, don't eat this, or do more of fruits, do more of salads. But in summary, you can eat whatever you want to eat as long as you're ready to work out. The simple theory is, eat what you can burn. The challenge is, most people take in, let's say, a thousand calories, but they only burn 500. But if you can eat those 100 or 1,000 calories and you believe you can burn them, then you're free to eat them. But if you cannot follow <laughs> that routine, then it is okay to cut off some of those fried things, do more of uh, boiled foods, salads, fruits, and you'll be there. I think that is if you cannot eat what you can't burn. I think you just made a lot of uh, people watching very unhappy that? because they like their chips and chicken. But l let me also ask you, in terms of maybe I have a, a work schedule that is not favorable, I can't come to you, Robert, every day of the week to work out. What are some of the things people can mm. do at home or even if I get 30 minutes at home or an hour at home, even if I'm not able to come to you, what are some of the things I can start to do to help me get slowly by slowly fit? Uh-huh. Actually, I was going to that point because most of the people, when you ask them, why don't you work out, they give you reasons like, I don't have time, I'm too busy at work, uh, I don't have money for gym. Forgetting the fact that you can still achieve those fitness goals from your home. Number one, if you look at, uh, let's say, a skipping rope, I think it costs like uh, between... 5,000 and 20,000, just a skipping rope. So if you can skip every day, at least skip, let's say, 500 times. If you can't, you can start with 200, you go on increasing, it will work for you. Then uh, we also have road work. You can decide to wake up every morning, do your jogging around your home, then you'll be back. It will take like 30 minutes, then do some simple stretching, and you achieve the goal. If you can't do it in the morning, you can do it in the evening. All these things just require you to have time. They don't require you to have a lot of money. Then we have those other simple squats. They will help you tone your thighs, your legs. You, there are those other push-ups. Uh, you can even do a stationary running. You can just run from one place. You can say, I'm going to run from here for 30 minutes or 20 minutes. That is the same as running on the treadmill. All these things require no money, but just your commitment and time. Am I answering you? Yes, you have. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Robert Damner, for your time and for that insight. Great stuff. Yes, uh, in studio back here, we have uh, Alan Ayeri from uh, Centenary Bank and Moses Opolot from Prow. Uh, I know as we're running out of time, but at least that was good. I know you said the squats are very hard. <laughs> because for us who work in places where there are stairs, once you do that, the next day you're not able to walk up those stairs, okay. but you know that the, there's a value in mm -hmm. it. So you don't there need is. money to get that gym membership. Mm -hmm. you, if you can, great. If you can't, just as I said, just buy a rope. That's mm -hmm. not too expensive mm -hmm. and it stays. Mm -hmm. Skip, okay, I don't know about skipping 500 times, but <laughs> you can start with the lazy ones like us 100 times if you can. But I think with fitness, there's a value in taking your time. Yeah. There's a process and yeah. each of us has your own time, your own process. But uh, tell us about the next Prow Run and maybe other ways that we can, you know, be part of this. Um, well, our next Prow Run happens tomorrow, Friday mm, the okay. 3rd. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as, as usual, we converge at uh, Lugogo Indoor Stadium. Mm. Uh, we, we usually start with a 30 minutes uh, um, stretch session, mm. uh, which is basically to help us warm up. Uh, mm -hmm. So that usually runs between 5.30. Some of us stop at the warm-up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel tired at the warm-up. No, I, I know. I mean, mm. that happens. But uh, usually what we encourage uh, our members to do, mm. uh, and obviously the public that uh, join us, mm. is that after we have uh, the 30 minutes warm-up session, if you, if you feel tired, walk. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Walk. It doesn't yes. matter. As long yes. the important thing is to complete the journey. Mm. It, so it doesn't matter whether it takes you an hour or two hours. Just do it. Just do it. Mm. And then you'll catch up with the rest so of the team. So that's Lugogo Indo Stadium tomorrow. Yes, mm. we, we usually uh, yes, converge at Lugogo Indo Stadium. Okay. Just on the outside. There's that green okay. on the outside. 
uh, we warm up, mm. then uh, uh, we obviously start our the run uh, okay. through uh, Kololo, mm -hmm. uh, the hills in Kololo, mm. and, and uh, <laughs> back. Uh, usually that distance stretches about eight kilometers. Mm -hmm. So uh, we obviously have the different teams there, That's the very runners, for you. the walkers, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so we... The ones who hold on to others, exa we exactly, are many. takes a bit of selfies yeah. along the way, no I mean, problem. it's don't, okay. Don't judge. Who's it's our okay. chief <laughs> runner, Alan? Our MD, Mr. Fabian Kassi. Mm. Yes. Does he normally go to the boil section or <laughs> the <French> <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get her in trouble, so it's fine. So the MD of Centenary Bank will be the chief runner. The chief runner. Mm. And so this happens every, what, every other month, every other couple of months? Um, it initially, we had wanted to, to do it monthly, mm. but we also realized that there are a lot of activities, mm. espe especially activities where our members are involved. Yes. So we decided to... Uh, to do it whenever we can. If we can do at least one, once every three months, that is good for us. So is this so open to the public? Yes, yes. Oh, we okay. actually uh, opened it up to the public okay. as well. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they, they are free to come and join mm. us mm. Uh, through the run, mm -hmm. walk, whatever you yes. choose. <laughs> and obviously at the end of the, of the session, we mm. also have a networking session. Oh. Yeah, so... It's not just about running mm. and walking. Mm. But yes. do, don't come at the end just for the networking <laughs> session, please. Uh, this prow run breaks. is a prow run. So <laughs> figure out how to be part of it. What time does it start? I start uh, we start at 5.30 with a warm-up. Okay. Then the actual run kicks off at 6. So that's after the working day. Anyway. Yes, it so is. So tomorrow, if you've been wondering how you can start your fitness journey, you don't start with going to Robert Damulira, who was just talking to <laughs> us, because I think him, he might be tough on you. So you yeah. go to him in a month. Start with the pro run tomorrow. And that's at Lugogo in uh, Stadium, yeah. the just outside there. Yeah. The chief runner is uh, an MD. So that would be interesting to see. <laughs> is he part of the runners, the selfie takers? Oh, he's a very good runner. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm, that's something to see. Mm. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you very much. Uh, the, the topic of corporate uh, fitness and health is a long, you know, a long, long discussion. So we might keep having this over time. But just start somewhere, start somehow. Have a good day.